Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at A Thousand Years by Christina Perry on the piano. Let's go and have a look at what we need to do in this one. Okay, all the fingers are written in for you, so it's a case of working out the notes and looking at the finger numbers. Okay, if I zoom in very, very quickly there, I'm starting in this position, if I can reach, okay, three and one. And we've got three sets of the same notes, E and G. And then we're going to move up to this position. If you can't reach with three and one, you've only got a tiny hand, then try it with five and one, like that, and then jump. But if you can stretch it, look, it's quite easy. But it depends how big your hand is, okay? So that's the first line there, the fingers. Left hand is starting on middle C, middle C there with your thumb, okay, in this position. So let's have a look at the first line. Left hand going down, back to the same position. Now we're moving up to F and A. Drop into five and one, should be quite natural there. takes care of your first line. Now, heart beats. You're going to start on your second finger on the C. We're starting on second because we've just played a G at the start, of the in, at the end of the intro there. So your second finger will be a natural one to go to. When we get to how to be brave on the second line, fifth finger on G. Notice this position, missing out the D. Practice that a few times. Then we're moving back in. Stretch over. Then we do the same thing again. Stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that makes it really nice and flowing. And then we've got A and B, A and C, right next door to each other. Now, if you can do four and five, four and one, five and one, that makes it a little bit smoother. If you can't quite stretch, then you can do five and one, five and one, five and one. But it, it just sounds a little bit clumpier. That's all. Okay. And then you've got the chorus. should be okay starting in your this position moving down by step here and then back now when, when you start with the actual tune on heartbeats you need to move your fourth finger down so you're in this position and you're with fifth finger here over here okay and then you've got some nice triads here just nice broken chords in the left hand like that just practice it on its own straightforward okay as always look at the note work out what note it is and look at which finger you've got to use so if it's a two on C you're going to use your second finger on C okay if it's fifth finger on G make sure you use your fifth finger on G okay always look at the finger number that little tiny number next to the note and make sure you've got the appropriate finger there you know, there's going to be the odd occasion where it doesn't quite fit, okay? Your, your hand might be slightly smaller. You might not be able to reach some of it, okay? So we're going to you can compensate for that. That's no problem. But always look at the note 
and the finger number to get that going. Um, and I look forward to some videos of that. And I'll uh, catch you later.